This is a book summary from Accessory to Success. Today we're reviewing Fascinate by Sally Hogshead. A wonderful book by a very accomplished professional. The main takeaway is it does not matter how a brand sees consumers. It matters how consumers see the brand. The brain becomes fascinated by something. And for branding products, that means finding the right messaging to create fascination or intense focus. Marketing messages should make consumers anticipate and connect with the brand's emotions and values. They must make customers fascinated for some reason. Understanding the languages of fascination to create focus is a first step because the adjectives drive the right messaging and tactics. It's a planning process that leads to creative ideas that make consumers feel an emotional connection to the brand's message. What you will learn. Different is better than better in branding. Anticipation is stronger than fulfillment. Fascination is a state of intense focus that creates anticipation and must precede action. People want to be fascinated and to be fascinating. The seven advantages or languages of fascination can create a state of intense focus for marketing purposes. When people buy a product, they are buying the emotions, values, connotations, and priorities of a brand. The adjectives that drive the languages of fascination and the tactics for plan implementation are guides for developing the right brand messaging. How to use a five-step action plan for creating fascination in consumers. How to complete a template to customized brand messaging to create fascination. Now into the book summary. In the original book, Fascinate, Sally Hogshead described the seven ways brands can fascinate people. She explains that she explored the why, but not the how, of captivation of brands by people and ideas. This rewrite of the original book goes deeper into the branding algorithm, the formula for solving a problem with predictable steps. Hogshead's algorithm is a template for creating ideas and fascinating customers to move them to action. Hogshead defines fascination as a positive force of attraction that allows you to make sure your message is heard and remembered. When fascinated, you experience spellbinding focus, lose track of time, and the surrounding world is completely focused on a person or message. After conducting a special study on fascination, the research found that brands need to help customers feel more fascinating to others and people want to feel fascinated by a product or experience. The conclusion was that companies will add more value and become more competitively effective by identifying and applying their plan for persuasion. It is a different take on a similar strategy discussed in the book, They Ask You Answer in which the goal is to attract customers by offering useful targeted content that persuades rather than pushes products in a heavy hitting manner. The seven languages of fascination are forms of persuasion. They are innovation or the language of creativity, passion, uh, the language of relationship, power, the language of confidence, prestige, the language of excellence, trust, language of stability, mystique, the language of listening, alert, the language of details. There are many stories of how fascination works. The first one talks about the bad taste of Jägermeister, yet people still drink it despite the poor taste. The bottom line is downing a shot of bad tasting liquor becomes a medal of honor. The point is that a person drinks the shot because it tastes bad and not despite it. How does a brand sell a product that people do not really want to buy? It comes down to the fact that people buy particular brands because they're buying more than the product. They're buying an experience. The law of persuasion, law four, in the book, the 
22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, a legendary marketing book, presents the same concept. Marketing is mostly about how people perceive products, not about the product itself. People who buy the terrible tasting Jägermeister shot, especially a group of people, are not buying a drink, they are buying something different that announces things are going to get more exciting. It is a brand promise and a fascinating quality. In advertising, communication around the brand qualities that makes them fascinating enable stronger competition. One example of how fascination works, shared in the book, Jägermeister effectively created a new market instead of battling competitors, a strategy promoted in the Blue Ocean strategy. Jägermeister has a market with virtually no competitors because other liquors are purchased primarily for their taste. Diving into the biology of fascination, Hogshead explores how the brain works. Fascination is the most basic form of attention, explaining people's constant reading of facial cues. It's so basic that the brain has a specific region for recognizing, interpreting, and responding to facial cues. In fact, brands use facial fascination to access involuntary perceptions. For example, a tire retailer puts animated eyes and a smile on a stack of tires, and those tires now have a personality. The consumer thinks it is cute or funny, but it is a purposeful maneuver. The smile is a powerful visual cue, but it actually begins with changes in the face and voice. One of the most important messages in the book is the old ways of marketing in which messages were repeatedly drilled into people's brains and no longer effective in the age of technology. The average attention span is now nine seconds long, largely due to the constant messaging from voicemails, emails, tweets, apps, web browsers, and videos. A brand must gain the consumer's interest during these nine seconds by developing a clearly established route versus a slew of messages that lose a person's attention. The three main threats marketers face are distraction, competition, and commoditization, in which people are assumed to be all the same. Marketing fails because of these threats, whereas fascination built into marketing is a crafted message people want to hear and become involved in. Developing messages that fascinate is using the psychology of persuasion, explained in the book Influence. Brands that speak the right advantage, or language of fascination, first identify what makes the brand different. Different is better than better, is one of the book's main themes. From this point, Hogshead dives into explanations of the seven forms of persuasion, which can make a brand impossible to resist. She presents the fascination system for establishing the brand's overall voice. The company identifies the brand advantage, describes its brand in terms of adjectives, and uses them to drive communication. People laughed at the charm and bath towel advertisements, but the book Hey Whipple Squeeze This explains why consumers were fascinated by them and how the company's sales skyrocketed by rising above the noise to make a marketing impact. The innovation advantage is the language of creativity, challenging assumptions and pushing people to think differently. A brand differentiates itself by crafting messages that are forward-thinking, entrepreneurial, bold, surprising, and visionary. Hogshead believes this is the most important advantage today, which is why it is first. The book Creativity Inc. explores promoting creativity in business because creativity is the heart of innovation. Uh, The innovation advantage is the language that showcases the company's creativity through branding. Fascinate shares the passion advantage is the language of relationship. Brand messaging is expressive, optimistic, sensory, warm, and social, and applying optimism and energy to build relationships. The power advantage is the language of confidence. Messaging is assertive, goal-oriented, decisive, purposeful, and opinionated, making the brand an authority. The the prestige advantage is the language of excellence. Prestige brand messaging is ambitious, results-oriented, respected, aspirational, and elite, 
using admiration to increase brand value. The trust advantage is the language of stability. Brand messaging is stable, dependable, familiar, comforting, predictable, repeating, and reinforcing patterns. The mystique advantage is the language of listening. The mystique brand messaging is observant, calculated, private, curiosity provoking, and substantive, careful about what it's revealing to prompt curiosity. The alert advantage is the language of details. Messaging is organized, detailed, efficient, precise, methodical, designed to prevent problems. Choosing the right branding language is another way of giving customers, most likely to become long-term customers, what they want. An important concept in the book, Give Them the Pickle. The next chapters delve into a plan for developing fascinating messages. The author discusses tactics within the context of each advantage. Tactics are ways to achieve an outcome, reach a targeted audience, or solve a problem. For example, if the brand's advantage is innovation, invent solutions that challenge tradition to change the game. If it's the mystique advantage, the marketer will reveal little information to get people thinking. Hogshead spends considerable time providing explanations and examples of tactics for each advantage. Like Fascinate, the book Building a Story Brand discusses the constant, on-demand distractions customers deal with daily and suggests storytelling is an excellent tactic for engaging humans. Storytelling could use any of the languages of fascination to connect with customers. Hogshead presents a five-step action plan for developing fascinating brand messaging. It is a methodical approach that is appreciated. Many business advice books never present an actual implementable plan. They speak in generalities, but the book Fascinate is a practical guide offering a template for action for developing a brand message. It offers many real-world examples of effective and ineffective marketing, and particularly in advertising. There are more stories, ideas, and exercises in the book Sticky Branding as well. If needing additional help understanding how to make a brand recognizable, read that book too. At the end of the book, Hogshead explains the specialty adjectives in more detail and offers a glossary of terms. The other excellent characteristics of this book is that it, its advice applies to all sizes of businesses from the entrepreneur to the mega corporation. About the author, a Duke University graduate, Sally Hogshead created the Fascination Advantage, the first personality assessment that measures how, uh, how other people perceive you. The algorithm can identify the most valuable differentiating traits. Now called the fascination test, it was developed based on research she conducted with dozens of Fortune 500 teams, hundreds of small businesses, and more than a thousand C-level executives. The fascination test has been completed by more than a million individuals and implemented at companies like IBM and Twitter. Hogshead is an early achiever. After starting her career, she quickly became one of the advertising elites, writing commercials for famous brands like Nike, Coca-Cola, and Godiva. At the age of 24, she was the most award-winning copywriter in the U.S. Hogshead opened her first ad agency at 27 in Los Angeles. By age 30, her work was hanging in the Smithsonian Museum of American History. She was a winner of the Cannes Lion, Cleo statue and a hundred thousand dollar Kelly Award for best campaign of the year. Hogshead has now led campaigns for over one billion dollars in advertising. Sally Hogshead is currently the CEO of her company, How to Fascinate. She frequently appears in national media like the New York Times and NBC and Today Show. She has been named twice as the number one global brand guru and is one of 200 professional speakers since 1977 to be inducted into the CPAE Speaker Hall of Fame. Sally Hogshead's first book was Fascinate, Your Seven Triggers to Persuasion and Captivation in 2010, 
followed by How the World Sees You in 2014, which is a New York Times bestseller. And in 2016, Fascinate, Revised and Updated, How to Make Your Brand Impossible to Resist was published and expands on the first Fascinate book. The revised Fascinate is also a New York Times bestseller. The Fascinate personality test is available online. Hogshead publishes a Fascinate blog and has a YouTube channel. She also maintains social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thanks for listening to this book review and summary by Accessory to Success. This book, Fascinate by Sally Hogshead, is a wonderful read, and we encourage you to go pick it up. All the other book recommendations can be found in the blog post with clean links. You can grab a copy of all the other books along with Fascinate that were suggested uh, during this review. Thanks for listening, and we will see you in the next review.